now going to look at artificial respiration. Artificial respiration. Artificial respiration, it is where there is an application of certain methods to supply uh, air to the person. For example, it is uh, like saying that we are breathing for that particular person. But uh, we can say that uh, artificial respiration is the blowing air into the person's mouth when performing a cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And uh, the we can do this one by following certain procedures. And these are the procedures that we are supposed to carry out when we are doing the pulmonary, I mean cardiopulmonary resuscitation. The first thing that you do, you lay the person on his or her back and uh, close the person's nose with uh, rest your fingers. Uh, you pull the person's head backwards. When you pull it backwards, it prevents the blockage of the other pipes and then you yourself take a deep breath you take in a deep breath and then place your mouth on the person's mouth and breathe out into the person's lungs then watch the person's lungs rise Remove your mouth and allow the chest to fall and repeat the process of breathing in, taking a deep breath, put your mouth on the person's mouth, breathe into that person, observe the rising of the chest Remove your mouth, allow the chest to fall, and keep on continuing with that process. That is what we call artificial respiration. The blowing of air into the person's mouth when performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation or the breathing for a person, we can say it is the application of some methods to supply a person with air and the procedures that we follow, we lay the person on his or her back and close the person's nose with the rest of fingers, pull his head backwards to prevent the blockage of the, of the windpipe and then take a deep breath Place your mouth on the mouth of the person and breathe out into the person's lungs. Observe the rising of the chest. Remove your mouth. Allow the chest to fall. And then you repeat the process. That is what we can talk about. <laughs>